Hey there guys, Joel Gaming YT here and welcome to episode 9 of the 515 Arsenal career mode. In the last episode, well, <laughs> I'm going to say we considered some really stupid goals that were probably avoided. Uh, if you haven't seen that then feel free to go back, it will be in the playlist coming up. <laughs> that will be, that will pull out. Uh, I'll get another international management offer from, that was Denmark and we got Manchester United in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Uh, some more emails, and I offer per match a new contract, and he happily accepted it, which was fantastic. Uh, Andre you was just thanking me to say, for, like using him and stuff. So now I'm going to this game against Burnley. Hopefully, well, we should win this game because it's Burnley. No disrespect to Burnley, but they're not the best team in the league, are they? So this should hopefully we can get a good result here, but we don't. We actually lose by a goal to nil. Danny Welbeck missing a penalty, which is pretty much un which is actually unlike him. You know, Danny Welbeck is good at taking penalties. I think his penalties are eighty ish, roughly. I don't know. I can't quite remember. So now we're going to this home game against Sunderland. Hopefully to pick up more points, which is definitely needed if we want to win the Barclays Premier League. And we do win by four goals to nil. Karen, Karen Gibbs? <laughs> Who's Karen Gibbs? Kieran Gibbs, uh, Jack Wilshere and two from Olivier Giroud getting their goals for us and beasting our way into hopefully to win the Premier League. And now it's the FA Cup semi-final against Manchester United uh, at Wembley Stadium obviously. And, uh, and as usual it is raining because it's London and England and stuff <laughs> so we are well we're not really at home well we technically are because we're in London and we're technically not because it's a different stadium but that's our lineup hopefully we will hopefully that lineup will get us the victory so we kick off and we go straight to the end of the half and we have a corner here Jack Wilshere is about to take it I used to attack to where we crowd the goalkeeper Wilshere into Welbeck and it's a f and it's a lovely goal by Danny Welbeck. Great header, one one up just before half time, and Danny Welbeck gets his 19th goal in all competitions, and he's coming back to haunt Manchester United. I think this episode may be called. Um, uh, well, I haven't really decided what this episode is going to be called, but hopefully, but hopefully by the end of the episode, I would have thought of um, I would have thought of a title for this but that's a nice header there by Daniel Welbeck getting another goal to add to his name and you know he's just been fantastic for me this season scoring a lot of goals especially that one just there and we now go into half time uh, Daniel Welbeck's goal against his former club getting uh, giving, giving us the lead and it's currently the only goal of the game so hopefully in the second half we can pick up uh, maybe another goal just to settle the team down a bit and yes, you see, Manchester United haven't ha had more of the ball, but not really many shots, so definitely struggling there, Manchester United. And now we start the second half of the game. Sounds like I'm doing live commentary, but I tell you I'm not. And Jack Wilshere, control, plays into Flaney, controls it well, and what a fantastic goal that was by Marion Flaney. The two, un the two former United players coming back to haunt their old team. Maybe that's why I should call that. Former players haunt. So I don't know, maybe, I, I haven't quite decided. But that was a nice strike there by um, Mario Fellaini. And look at the curve on it as well. So much curve on it. That was, that was so many, I, when I first saw it, I thought, no, that's going wide. But when you look at so many angles, there's so much curve that I'm surprised that it was so near the post and just dabbled into God's reach. And, it, yeah. I was oh, speechless when this happened. Our defensive frailties continue. We can see the really stupid goal. Something that we should not be doing. It's a nice crossing by, uh, I think that was Vidal. Nice ball in and Falcao. What can, what can you expect? He's got, I can't remember what his heading accuracy is, but it is really high. And yeah, he did that. Vidal with a nice cross as well. 
it's a shame we had to concede that goal. But so Manchester United are back in the game. Are they going to make a comeback and potentially knock us out? Well, we're going to have to find out. Well, I have to find out in a bit because I do make some substitutions. Jack Wilshere comes off. He's had a good game. He comes on for come off for uh, so Walcott comes on for Casola. I switch Alexis and walk around. I take off Phil Jones and throw on uh, like Cassioni. So that's those substitutions done. But the question is, will Manchester United get back into the game? You'll find out in a few seconds. They don't. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say. They don't get. They don't. They. They don't manage to find that equaliser and we have won by two goals to nil. The two former United players in Danny Welbeck and Mario Flaney get in our goals. And Falcao for us, you know, I think he's on loan, I believe, yeah, I think he's on loan to um, Manchester United. So maybe I could try and pick him up in the summer. And that was the end of the game. And Greece <laughs> offered me a contract, but like I said, I'm not interested in, in the international side. And guess what? It's the repeat of the 2014 FA Cup final. Yes, we have got Hull City. <laughs> I mean, what are the chance of us getting Hull City? I think it's. I think in, they had Aston Villa in their semi-final game. But yeah, we got Hull City again. And we go into a Premier League game. It's the top two. It's Arsenal against Chelsea at the Emirates Stadium. I mean, if maybe if we can win this, then we are certain, and then hopefully we should go on to win the league title. If it's a draw, then you know we probably need to win our last remaining games. But if we lose, then it's going to be really close. It's going to be, uh. It's going to be a fight to the last game, and as you can see, we have got. I can't quite see that. It might be an eight point gap, but Chelsea do have a couple of games in hand over us, which is a real pain in the ass. And we're going all the way to half time because there was literally nothing going on in that game. We were pretty much cancelling each other out. We, you know, tackles like that and like that. <laughs> Apparently, there were fouls, but didn't see anything wrong with those. Chelsea just kept falling over too easily when I. Putting a tackle on them, but yeah, that's a bit of a shame that we that happened. But we're on, to, we're into second half. Santi Cazorla, look at this lovely little turn, <laughs> creates a lot of space for him, and he just fires it past Tipo Corto on the 61st minute. And that has gone. And if we can hold on to this lead and maybe get one or two more. We should be fine to stay top of the table and have a good and increase our lead rather than have our lead slashed, which is not very good. <laughs> but yeah, so we make some substitutions. Theo Walcott, Messer Erzo, and Deborah coming on. Well, Beck, Will, Shit, and Fellaini coming off. And again, our defensive frailties continue. Hazard, the throw on goal. That happens. <sighs> I, t I just think I need to strengthen the back fourth in the summer. I do not know what's going on. It's just a shame. And there's a tackle. And then right at the last minute, Diego Costa finishes us off. Uh, what can I say? Diego Costa is an absolute animal on this and in real life. So, unfortunately, guys, we have lost this game. I am not going to spoil it for you. We have lost this game. That is a nice goal by Diego Costa. I think Ramirez got the assist as well. And, yeah, we <laughs> that was pretty much the end of the game. We could not get a counter-attack. And yet, my players were clapping. I do not know why they should be upset. Why are they celebrating? We haven't yet won the league. This is, uh, this is just insane. I do not know, know why they were happy. I don't know why they were clapping and celebrating. We lost to our t main title rival Chelsea 2 1. So, yeah. Don't know why they decided to clap. But anyway, let's have a look at the Premier League title. And that title, uh, Premier League standings. And as you can see, we are five points clear of Chelsea. But Chelsea do have a game in hand. So if they win that. If they win their game in hand, they will close to get down to two points, which is not very good co considering we are close to the end of the season. And Burnley, Burnley, Leicester, and I believe it was QPR. No, not QPR. Oh, well, <laughs> I couldn't really see that. 
Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this, and if so, please leave a like, please subscribe as well, and I'll see you for the finale.